Quick, you have 60 seconds to name as many animals as you can think of without repeating yourself. Go. Pig, cow, sheep, duck, chicken. Zebra, giraffe, water buffalo, lion, panther. Tiger, lion, bear. A shark, a whale, a dolphin, porpoise, starfish, lobster, crab. Cat, dog, mouse, goat, pig, rat, chipmunk, squirrel. Panda, fox, bear, elephant, deer, bit oh I already said bear. Black bear, polar bear, brown bear. Armored rat, mongoose, weasel, badger. Bird, Oh, fox, giraffe, that's all. Two interesting properties of the lists that people tend to generate. One, order matters. The items that we list early on tend to be more common or prototypical examples than the ones that come later. Dog, cat, mouse, raccoon, bear, mink, beaver, osprey. And two, repeats happen. Even if we're trying not to, we tend to forget the items that we've already listed and then say them again. Panda. Panda. Antelope. Antelope. Oops, I said antelope. Now we've come up with a new computational cognitive model of the human list degeneration process that captures both of these properties. We call it swirl for sampling with reduced replacement. Here's how it works. Imagine items have a hypothetical size in your mental lexicon. Since order matters, the probability of listing an item is related to its size. Once it's listed, though, the size is reduced, making it less likely but still possible to be repeated. Given a set of human-generated lists, we show how you can estimate these word size statistics from data, and then use them to train state-of-the-art text classifiers using machine learning. For example, these word sizes can be converted into priors in a naive Bayes classifier, or used as posterior constraints in a logistic regression. And we can also use the swirl model as a classifier itself. For example, we show how it can be helpful for diagnosing cognitive impairment in brain damaged patients. For more details, please see our paper at the International Conference of Machine Learning.